you and your rhetoric and your inability to do anything as a board here are partially responsible for emboldening bullies to jump a girl in the bathroom. Three older girls don't just jump a 16-year-old in the bathroom for no apparent reason, especially when they're of the alphabet community, who you personally have attacked ever since you ran for office, and you brought in the chief attacker of this, Chaya Raichak. Okay? It's on you. You remember what I said, the blood's on you guys and, and everything else? I think what you're looking at now is a federal lawsuit for each one of you personally, and I hope it happens because it'll bankrupt you. And I hope it happens for you, Ryan, because you're money-oriented, and I hope it bankrupts you as well. There is legal culpability here. Um, no Title IX was followed. Teacher didn't turn it in. Principal didn't turn it in. Is it mandatory reporting? Is that what it's called? Mandatory? Give me a nod. If you're on the school board, you should know. Is it mandatory reporting for somebody to report a hate crime? Is it mandatory? Did I not tell you this was going to happen? Yet here I am again, and I'm sure when I leave your Chaya right check chick will tweet my stuff out again and I'll get more death threats. That's who you brought into the room. You emboldened these three girls yourself. Chaya Rychek emboldened these three girls by being on the library board. It's already difficult to be in high school. It's very difficult to be different. But when somebody's attacked for being different, this isn't even about the death part, because that's coming next, and we'll see who gets charged and how many families lose their children to prison. You are liable. You. So what are you going to do about it down the line? Literally, what are you going to do to change your behavior? It was real nice that you said thoughts and prayers for everybody at the beginning. You brought it on. Did Chaya Raichek do something in that school against an alphabet-friendly teacher? And she ended up getting so many threats she quit? Yet you still brought her on, and within a month, magically, something happens. You have no deniability here. It is a pattern. Forced Gump could see this pattern. You don't deserve that. You have actual blood on your hands, no matter how sincere you try to, you probably practiced it in the mirror to look sincere today. Look, you and worthless ass Chaya Rechek, literally blood on your hands, and everybody that still sits at this table shouldn't have shown up today and done some kind of a protest to show you're not okay with this. Get a backbone. Literally, it's embarrassing. I am humiliated and embarrassed for every one of you that showed up today. Shame on you, man. And as I told you, sooner or later, you're gonna get a parent who comes after you and yours. That's the way this works. Keep it up. Thank you, Sean. Next, we have Mike Howe. That was so incredibly satisfying to watch, and every single word that he said was spot on. That was Sean Cummings. He is the vice mayor of the village, Oklahoma, and he's also a business owner. And we just watched him confront Oklahoma school superintendent Ryan Walters at a public school board meeting. And as you saw, he accused them of emboldening the bullies that are responsible for next Benedict's death. And he's right. It's not just Ryan Walters, it's also Chaya Raichik. And the reason why he's so worked up is because he was proven right when he didn't want to be. So before Next Benedict died, guess what happened? He was right there at the school board meeting in January saying it's a very, very bad idea to put someone like Chaya Raichik in this position of power when she has no experience and doesn't even live in the district. And not to mention, she literally poses a danger to children. Take a look. You took somebody that threatened our children, literally threatened our children. You have no plausible deniability if it happens again. Any of you in this room that tolerates this kind of behavior out of your boss, it's on you too. Yes. What happens when somebody actually does the bomb? What happens? Plausible deniability for any of you? No, everybody knows who she is. Everybody knows who she is. What kind of BS manager are you put everybody's lives at stake so you can have your measly $140,000 of your job. You can go sell your soul somewhere else for more money. You can't. You're a good looking guy. You can do it. You don't powder, but you're a good looking guy. All right, let's talk about a couple of things. Guilt by association. You bring her on, you're guilty. You guys, all of you, ladies and gentlemen, are guilty if you tolerate this kind of behavior. You're 50th in the nation. You're last. And this is the kind of BS you do. You bring that on so you can get a little more press. Are you not getting enough press, Ryan? Are you not getting enough press? Are you? 
I teach you how to get more press. Look, I've got two books in the library. I wrote two. All right, one was a bestseller in here in Oklahoma. I have more qualifications than she does. I do. Come on, man. Look, you're going off the cliff. This isn't even funny anymore. But I tell you what, the parents in the school where that bomb goes off are going to have some problems with you. Now, he was referencing the fact that Chaya Raichik's targeting of teachers in schools has led to harassment and even bomb threats. And after he told them about that, NBC News released a report detailing 21 different incidents where bomb threats were made against schools and hospitals following a post about them by Chaya Raichik. So his point was that what happens when one of these bomb threats is no longer just a threat? What if there's an actual bomb? Because somebody gets so worked up that they take action and become violent? What if a teacher that she targets leads to one of her unhinged followers actually following through on their threats of violence? We're talking about people's children here. This isn't a game. Chaya Rajic incited harassment against Next Benedict's teacher, accused him of grooming, for daring to tell LGBTQ plus youth that he would accept them even if their parents rejected them. This person is deeply dangerous. So Sean Cummings warned them all that if you put someone like this in a position of power, you are creating a toxic environment where kids are going to pick up on what the adults are doing and we're going to have tragedies like this where a young man, next Benedict, dies. And that is so sad to see. Now, just for those who don't know, next Benedict actually used he, him pronouns according to his friends. So I used they, them pronouns last time, but now we know. So just correcting that so people know. But can you guess what Chaya Raichik did after that speech uh, was posted online? Well, she posted it and sicked her unhinged followers on Sean Cummings, which is what he referenced in the first video. So she tagged him, writing, Sean Cummings, city council member in Oklahoma, has a meltdown over me being appointed to help remove porn from schools. He claims I threatened children with bombs. This is a flat-out lie. I will not stand for this libelous defamation. So she is insinuating that she might sue him for defamation. Surprise, surprise. She's been doing that a lot lately. But after she made that post and incited harassment against him, Take a guess as to what happened. The same thing that always happens. Her supporters found his information online and started making phone calls to him. And he details what they said in a TikTok video. Look, every one of them, when they called, um, accused me of like SEX crimes and stuff. Just just total BS. Here's the issue. It isn't about me because people call me. They were very worried about me in this. And I go, don't worry about it. I'm totally fine. I don't mind. I answer every one of those phone calls. I don't let anything go. The, um, the threat goes to other people that now stand up against Walters or her. I was not even out of that building yet, and she had already tweeted about me. Okay? I was not out of the building yet. So, do you really want this kind of T-E-R-R-O-R -R -R campaign going on with the librarians? So he got calls from Chaya Raichik's unhinged followers, and they accused him of sex crimes, as they always do. According to Chaya Raichik, every single LGBTQ plus person on the planet and anyone who defends them is a groomer. No surprise there. But if you'll recall, she claimed that he was mad that she was going to remove porn from schools, but he went on to make a point about how book banning doesn't actually protect children from porn because they have access to porn on their phones if they really want to look at it. So this whole crusade, all it does is demonize queer people. It fosters this environment of paranoia against queer people, and it could lead to instances like the one we saw where a student was bullied because he was himself. It doesn't help that he was forced to use the bathroom of his sex assigned at birth after the governor of Oklahoma, also responsible here, signed a law making it so that was what they had to do. It's just this whole situation is so sad because it was preventable. And that's what Sean Cummings was trying to communicate to these folks at these uh, school board meetings multiple times. Now, it's really nice to see him do that and stand up and speak out for Next Benedict. Now, one thing that I did not expect from Sean Cummings' TikTok video was the tea that he ended up spilling about Ryan Walters because this was something. I get very tired of the 
LGBTQ issue coming up all the time. Look, there, the Lost Odal's got a blatant photo of Ryan when he was younger, and that was not just a friend he was sitting with that had his hand on Ryan's thigh. Look over the photo closely and you'll see what I mean. Look, I played football, basketball, soccer, and did theater and competitive speech and dramatics. Um, every single person from the sporting style of the aisle um, that talked bad about gay people eventually came out of the closet. You know, I mean, I'm, it sucks that they got to live that way, but that's the truth. Eventually, all came out of the closet. And I spent most of my life fighting those people because the other people were my friends as well that I knew nobody else was going to stand up for. Now, that was something that I was not expecting. Now, I went to the Lost Ogle article that he recommended, and he's absolutely right. So, this is the photo that he was referring to, a young Ryan Walters sitting conspicuously close to his quote-unquote friend, wearing matching flip-flops with his hand on his leg, and uh, Ryan's arm is uh, over his friend's shoulder. Very, very straight. You know, I'm sure that most straight guys interact with their friends this way. But for a moment, let's just assume that you're not convinced. Everyone should be convinced, but let's assume that you're not convinced. Well, there's another photo from the same article that is even more incriminating. A photo of young Ryan Walters and, wait for it, Taylor Swift. <laughs> he is dead to rights here. Now, sure, it is the case that a straight man can also be a fan of Taylor Swift, but there's a difference, and I can't really explain that difference, but I just have to show you. So this is a photograph of a heterosexual man posing for a photograph with Taylor Swift. This is Corin, Kyle's friend, and there's nothing like inherently gay about this, and you could just tell, but when you compare that with the photograph of Ryan Walters, you know, you can't really describe why this is so gay you can't articulate how it's more gay but when you see it you just know right so this entire crusade that he's doing against queer people makes so much more sense now and i'll be honest when chaya Rychik shared this photo of the two of them it was pretty obvious to me that this man was born with the gay gene now i wasn't a hundred percent sure but with a confidence level of 95 percent you know there was a non-zero percent chance i thought that this man like chaya Rychik, is externalizing his internal struggle but you know i kept that to myself because people often say that i tend to accuse everyone who's homophobic of being gay and i think that that's a fair criticism to make of me but in my defense I'm also 100% correct. I I'm sorry, but when you know, you know, and I just know. I have an impeccable gaydar, and I think I've only been wrong like once or twice in my entire life, and nothing sets off my gaydar more than someone being overtly homophobic and obsessing over queer people to the point that they make that their entire personality. That, to me, is incredibly suspicious. That, to me, is weird. That doesn't scream, I'm confident in my own gender identity or sexual orientation. But yes, with that being said, it is true that some people are just hateful for the sake of being hateful and they're not externalizing an internal struggle for example i don't think that ben shapiro is gay even though he is a massive homophobe or jordan peterson or matt walsh although it's evident that he does have some other weird sexual hang-up that he hasn't dealt with yet but you know not everyone who's hateful is gay but if you are genuinely hateful and you think that lgbtq plus people are icky for some reason you should know that a lot of us are going to suspect that you are what you hate if you get a little bit too loud, become a little bit too conspicuous, as Chaya Raichik and Ryan Walters have. As for Sean Cummings, um, I just want to say that I'm so thankful for someone like this who is willing to show up and confront people who pose a threat to LGBTQ plus youth. What he's doing is incredibly important, and that right there is what a true ally does. And in his TikTok, he even mentions how Democrats aren't doing enough to counter the right's anti-LGBTQ plus hate campaign. And I think he's right. So people like him, they give me hope because even though he's not part of this community and doesn't have to care, he still does. And I think we can all learn from people like him on how to be better allies and actually show up for marginalized communities that we're not a part of. So we'll leave that there. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, F around and find out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, gay, Pride. Trans rights are human rights. It is necessary to push trans on the kids. Gay, 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 gay,